my faith and my work in my life, how has my faith impacted my work? My faith and my work in my life have become synonymous with one another. They've become one and the same. Because, you know, and, and it comes out of what my true mindset is. To most people on the outside, they look at one as a Christian, and they might say, you're a business person or a corporate person who is a Christian. But that's not my understanding. That's not how I think. I'm a Christian who is assigned to the marketplace, whether in, as an entrepreneur in my businesses or as a corporate executive in all the boards and, that I work on. So it, it's really understanding that my business and my career, they're my pulpit. They're the place where I preach the gospel. They're the place where I get a chance to show who Christ is. And the most beautiful part of it is the people I will run to in the boardroom or in the marketplace might not be people I would meet in church. And some of them might never walk through the doors of a church. So I'm the only church they're ever going to meet. And therefore, I have to be the Christ they see in the work that I do. And that, it puts you under a lot of pressure, but it makes you hold yourself accountable because then you realize that my truth has to be true because if it's not, I could cost Christ a life. And I don't want to make a buck of a transaction. And the end result of that is that if I'm the last person on the face of the earth that needs to minister the gospel to the person I just did business with, that that person will never accept the gospel because of my behavior. That is one of the most scary things I can imagine as a Christian. And having that at the back of my mind drives the basis of my decision making every day. And it's why I could talk about only you can choose. Because at every point in time, you're presented with a choice. And you must have predetermined in advance the context in which you will judge the decisions you will make at every crossroad. And for me, that context is the three key things. I want to walk out of every situation preserving my testimony as a child of God. I want to walk out of every situation preserving my family name. I want to walk out of every situation preserving my father's name. And that means that you're willing to pay the price. Now, the reality is you are going to have to pay that price many times. And then many times it will cost you. But in my experience, I have learned that every price I've had to pay to fight for a good name and for a good testimony is a price worth paying. It's been really painful sometimes, but on the long term, because we, we have to be long term players. And why is that? What is our longest term agenda? Heaven. So without losing sight of what my end goal is, I mean, and there are two things that are key to me. One, I want to die empty, totally empty, that there's not a gift of God and talent that I have that I would not have used for the benefit of my family, of the church, and of the world, of my nation and of the world. Definitely, because there's no talent I was given from heaven that I need in heaven. So I don't want to take it back, because that's a wasted resource. So I want to ensure that I can express all of my gifts, which makes me multidimensional in many cases, because people keep asking, how can you do so many different things? If you've been gifted, then God has given the grace for you to express yourself in all of those areas. And that allows you to perform multiple tasks uh, at the same time. And at the end of the day, I want to know that when I walk through the doors of heaven, God can say, welcome, my good and faithful servant. So my business, my career, and my life, and my faith, they cannot be separated because we're not schizophrenia. We're one and the same. 
And God meant us to be inseparable from our faith. Because Christ is life. And if we say Christ lives on the inside of me, it means that when I go to work, he's there. So I don't leave him at home or leave him at the gate of the church on Sunday. So there cannot be two sides to it. It's one and the same. And I have to be able to express Christ in the midst of my day.